All right, this is Karen Diane, the Gong Master. We're happy to have her. So Karen, tell us a little bit about what you do and how you got into the Gong and all of your metaphysical works. As she said, my name's Karen Diane. And, you know, everything on this planet is about energy, frequency, and vibration. Um, I, I'll, as far as how I got into this, I'm going to kind of make it short because I don't want to take a lot of time with that. Uh, but I was a tool design manufacturing engineer in aerospace, actually. Uh, on the, I worked on the stealth bomber. I worked on the space shuttle program and the L-1011 program. And I was uh, basically a designer on the board. So I wasn't really a computer person, um, but um, I was more into structure. Um, and I worked between the engineers and the people on the floor that were building the aircraft. And it was a challenging job, but to me what it was is I'm a problem solver. So when I came to Arizona, there were a lot of layoffs with those jobs, you, you don't always have a job. So I came to Arizona and I opened up a metaphysical store and I called it Gypsy Trader. Because at that point in my life, many of us have gone through a lot of different, uh, I would say changes and I had gone through a divorce and my son was off to college and so I came here by myself and I called myself gypsy trader because I felt that you know we're just passing through we're all gypsies and because we're spiritual beings so I open a metaphysical store I get into crystals and I'm an artist and love to paint and create and um, it was my healing space when I did that um, so people ask me, how did you go from an aerospace engineer into a metaphysical store? I said, we're problem solvers. People would come to me and ask me uh, if I could help them. And no matter what it was, I started doing angel readings. I've been intuitive all my life, um, helping people with crystals. Now, my idea about crystals and stones, again, it's a vibrational energy and they're tools that God has created on this earth as the trees and the herbs uh, and plants, it's all nature. It has a vibration, it has an energy. So it's a tool to use to help you support you in your travels. The magic in life is God and God is in everything. And the magic actually begins with your heart. So when you take a crystal, like um, this picked up a crystal here, but when you take a crystal, this is Jim Silica, and it's very good for the throat chakra. So its energy helps you to open your throat. Many times in life, because there are different situations, especially with women, we are told to be quiet and not to speak. We are told we have no value at times in our lives. And opening up the throat chakra is a very important thing to do because it helps you move forward with your life. And words we'll talk about energy now, I'll get back into my gong. I love my gong. I started selling gongs in the store and I fell in love with a couple of my gongs and I couldn't sell them. And I started playing meditation with the gongs and bowls when I had my store. And the thing about sound, vibration, each and every one of us is birthed with the exact perfect sound of our voice to heal our body. That's why toning is so important opening and singing and I used to as a small child I can't hold a tune I do sing Jesus, Jesus loves me but I don't usually do it in public you know out by my garden and uh, I would sit out as a small child even when I was well, nine eight years old and sing to the stars how great thou art because I love the vibration the frequency that made me feel inside but when I was in church they told me, Karen, you can, why don't you just mouth the words? They didn't want me to sing, even as a small child. However, um, knowing that the vibration and frequency of your voice is very healing to your body, we all should raise our voices up. And that's why in a choir at church, that's wonderful if you can do that. And I know many of you probably have beautiful, beautiful voices. So don't hide your voice open your voice because it not only heals you, it heals the, the world, the universe, everyone around us, because we're energy, vibration, frequency. We're not as solid as we think we are. 
there's more space between the stuff than stuff. And so that's why it's important for each of us to learn who we truly are and stand in that power. Um, I got into the crystal, so I opened a metaphysical store and started selling crystals and um, people would arrive, um, coincidences would happen. Um, I fell in love with uh, crystals like apothelite because to me that was a crystal that kind of brings the angels in. It's very soothing, very comfortable. And then of course, I'm a Taurus, so my birthstone is emerald, but I fell in love with moldavite. Now what I'm wearing here, this is a moldavite. Um, carved horse. It's a really one of a kind. And just a little short story, guess, uh, about my horse is a woman came into my store and a customer and she had horses and she loves horses. And I, I told her I had a, hand, a carved head of a horse in Moldavite. She says, I need to see that. I said, well, it's not for sale. I'm not going to tease you with it or anything. It's really not for sale. It's something I got for myself. And um, she says, I don't want to, I'm not going to buy it. I just want to see it. So I brought it in. She looked at it. And she then said, look at all these crystals you have all around you. You're greedy, Karen Diane. I have horses. You should sell that to me. And of course, being a, you know, single lady, self-employed, rents due, I thought maybe this is the way God was going to help me pay my rent. So I did sell it to her. She didn't have the full price. So she owed me $100. She says, I will come. I will work in your store for $10 an hour for the $100 for 10 hours till it's paid off. So I agreed to it. And I took the money and I paid my rent. Well, she never came back. Never came back to work. Three years later, she shows up in my store and she says, I need to talk to you. Remember that Moldavite horse that I bought from you? Every time I put it on my neck, it got so hot, I couldn't wear it. It belongs to you. It's not mine. If you will write me a check for what I paid you for it, it's yours because it is yours. So I wrote her a check for exactly the amount. However, I did not, I did not deduct for the hundred. She still owed me because I knew by that time she had forgotten. And I knew that this was kind of God's lesson to me that you know, some things do belong to me. Some things he wanted me to have. And now I have, uh, I'm able to wear it. Uh, I have uh, friends and customers that tease me because they know the story. And they'll say, oh, Karen, Diane, I have horses. You should sell that to me. And I can now smile and wear it proudly and say, no, this, this one piece is mine. So um, what the lesson about that is, stones do choose you. And that's wonderful because when people come and ask for different crystals, I have probably over 850 varieties of rocks and minerals here in my little store, my, my home studio. And when people ask me, I, I can tell them what I feel is appropriate for them or energies they may need. But most important is that you choose yourself. And when you choose it with your intuition, with a God within, when you choose something, it is perfect. So, um, uh, as far as the gongs and uh, my meditations, I created a CD called Dare to Imagine Love. And to me, dare to imagine love, the highest love that you dare to imagine is God. And it's above, when I say nothing's above God, but the energy of love is 500. There's energies up to bliss. God is bliss. Energies above that. And how we get there is through silencing our mind and meditating. And so I created these, um, see the, my two little books and my CD that go together uh, to help people get into that deep state of awareness. And when your body's in the theta state of awareness in that very deep state, that's when your body and mind spirit can heal. That is your natural healing ability. So God, you know, perfect in form created you perfect in form. Everything is already within you. So what, what happens to us in life? Because we're human, you know, if we're kind of going down the rapids and we're, we're just really having a wonderful time and we're in that joy. And every once in a while, we kind of eddy out. We get to the side and, and maybe lower our vibration. Don't stay there long. Jump right back in. Get right back on top because that's where you belong.
And anything that is not of love, it's not you. Let it go. Release it. And I know we're human and, and sadness happens. Um, stuff happens. When that happens to you, breathe into it and embrace it. You're here to experience. So you can go and you can cry. You can let go. You can feel what it feels like but no, it's not you, then you let it go and it clears. The time it doesn't clear is when we're in denial and we stuff that emotion and we get angry because we think somebody caused this to us. No one can hurt you. No one can cause you to do anything. It's your perception. And it's the way that will, I say, push your buttons. When, those, when you know about which buttons you have, that is something you need to release and heal. And how we release and heal things is really through breath work, breathing in, letting it go, and trusting God. Um, so everything to me is about energy and vibration. My gong is a perfect instrument, as well as my crystal bowls, to help people get in that higher vibrational state. And once they're in that state, that's when they can release, let go, and just be in bliss. The crystals are tools that you can use to help yourself in no matter what situation you're going through, whether you need to uh, move forward in life, whether you need to have calm during the chaos, like fluoride's a wonderful stone to help for calmness and balance. Um, we all need to have balance. I used to think, hey, if I could open my third eye and work with my crown chakra and I could just float all the time, that would be perfect. Well, it's not. We're meant to be grounded. So we need to be having our foot, feet on the ground, Mother Earth. We need to have roots down to the center core of this earth. And then we need to allow that breath to come up all the way through us and reach to the sky and ground ourselves in the divine. And if you're grounded to Mother Earth and you're grounded into the divine, that's when synchronicities happen, happen for you and you're on your path. And it's just, that is just the most best way to go through life being grounded, focused, and expanding. And that's what we all really want to do. And that's when we're in wholeness. Uh, so um, I, do we have any questions or is there anything more that you'd like to know at this point? I could take you, let me take you shortly around. I hope that's okay, Kim. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my computer. See how long this lasts, but I'm going to, um, Go ahead and just kind of show you a little bit. Uh, I hope you can see this with my computer. This is my home studio. And right here I have um, some beautiful, beautiful flowers that uh, uh, a sweet lady brought me last Saturday for meditation. And then my, my CD. And here we have a wonderful, wonderful cell night lamp. Crystals. I'm going to take Uh, three feet in diameter. And it's kind of weird. Can't hear you. Actually, uh, most amethysts are more tree like because as they form, it's like with volcanic ash and burns the tree the gas develops inside the tree and it then uh, forms crystals. And that's why most of the amethysts are going to be cathedral shape. And then I'm gonna show you over here. So I probably have over 850 and minerals in, in the smaller pieces. And then we have love the um, kyanite. Kyanite is one
It's also a good one for the throat chakra. Anything blue, turquoise, chrysocolla. And it um, helps retard our um, certain diseases in the body. You can say it helps slow down the growth of cancer cells. Um, so we're just showing you Try to make sure you can still hear me. And then I do have trays and trays of crystals. And that's where I make my special crystal bags for people that I like to Trinity. Uh, and so here's some them on the table. I probably have about 40 different boxes. So there is no metaphysical store here in Arizona that you can go in. Tell me that they can come here and have a list and I can fulfill all their wishes. And what I'm talking about is this, the vibration, the energy, and to support them in their journey, they might want to have a little crystal pouch with three different types of crystals. So I'm going to walk back here and I'm going to plug back in because I'm not sure how long my computer will stay on. Okay, you guys asked away. <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a question. I just have a comment. One, um, I really like your energy. Your energy is very calming. I felt that instantly when I got on the call. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that. Oh, thank uh, you. Thank you. But um, so in the last month, I just got into stones and crystals, and I every day I've been wearing a, a carnelian stone. Uh huh. Uh, and I just ordered a amethyst uh, bracelet. So yeah, I'm I'm just now getting into stones and crystals, but it does, I have noticed a different. Now, um, what month What month are you born? Um, June 27th, I'm a Cancer. Okay, wonderful. Uh, the carnelian is a more of a, like a, it's an agate, it's kind of the fire stone. So it helps balance you. And uh, carnelians are very, it holds your feet down to the truth. It's kind of like a fire stone. So I'm not surprised that you're attracted toward the car carnelian uh, because you're actually more of a water sign. You're kind of opposite, but you probably need more fire in your life. And that's why I see you wearing red. So red is also the fire and trust your intuition to what you're pulling towards you is what you need that helps to complete your energy. Thank you for that. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, so always trust your heart. If you see something and you're really attracted to it, you know, check it out with your heart. And that means that that's something that you probably need more in your life. Do you I have noticed a, a difference wearing them? So that's all I wanted to say. I, 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 they yeah. just, um, you can feel the energy when you wear the stones and the crystals. That's, that's what I wanted to say. So thanks for showing all of your beautiful stones you're and most, crystals. You're most welcome. Thank you. Do you sell like intuitive boxes, like where you intuitively pick up on the stones someone needs and then for a fee, they just, you send them and, you know. Yeah, what I do is I usually, um, you can email me and I usually ask for your birth date because uh, to have a little more information. I do long distance calls too for people and I pick up your energy and then I put together, uh, if that's what we're looking at, sometimes put together this three special stones for you if you want stones to carry with you. And uh, so it's more of a consultation and feeling your energy and then being able to do that. I also, what I do is create special bracelets for people with the energy that they need for whatever they're going through. And uh, that's worked very well with many people. Uh, I have this one doctor that she needed, her whole life was so chaotic and she's trying to move into a new office space. And so she came to me and said, just, you need to, you know, create me something I did. 
anyway, it's been it's been six years and she loves her new office space. And she has, she says, I don't even take off the bracelet when I shower because it has grounded me and it really feels so good. So um, yeah, and if you're Chris, if you if I make a bracelet for you and it breaks, please just give it, send it back to me so I can remake it for you. We put it back together. If I if you lost a stone, I can add a stone. Um, I have another customer that she's been wearing my bracelet now. She said, it's been nine years and she wears it all the time. Well, it finally broke because <laughs> she had, anyway, uh, so I fixed it for her. And because once you, if you really love the energy, you should still have it. At the moment, you don't want to wear it anymore. It, maybe it's time to pass it on to somebody else because you you now uh, don't need that energy. You, you're on to something because we are changing and change is very important and we need to allow the change. So yes, you just email me and we get in touch and we can do things that way. I'm currently building a website, but I can't promise you when it's gonna be done. So the best thing is I'm just a phone call away. You can text me or you can email me. Thank you. I have a question. I'm sorry, I'm Kamoy. I came in 15 minutes late. Um, so I did not get to hear the whole presentation, which I'm sad about because I collect crystals. <laughs> um, uh, as, but I have a question for you. I live um, next to Stone Mountain in Georgia, and it is literally like a big granite crystal, right? Uh -huh. um, so my question is, because you can feel the energy. So like, this is a piece that you like, you find pieces like this, you know, uh -huh. there. Um, and sometimes they're clear, sometimes they're smoky, you know, and I can't really tell what family they come from, but I just kind of started to um, tap into the energy itself and maybe charge them on my own and kind of feel out what they're trying to say. Um, mm -hmm. So my question to you is, right, although you may not particularly find like a crystal or something um, in your knowledge about stones, it is okay just if something just appears to you on your walk in a park or something that you find that shimmers. Because we have a lot of those here in Georgia where you just find big mm -hmm. nuggets maybe of even gold specks in the crystal. And I don't know what family. Um, so is it safe to say just from a spiritual nature, any, you know, like something like this also speaks to you when you can't identify what family they're coming from per se? Yes. Uh, first of all, you're so blessed to have all that wonderful energy around you. And I would say when you, as you pick them up, you can take them home and make them yours by cleansing them. You can cleanse them as simply by, uh, a little bit of water and then putting them out in the, in the sunlight. Okay. Some people like to cleanse by moonlight. Others actually will put a crystal in rice overnight mm -hmm. to let it go. Rice. Once the crystal is cleansed, then you take it and you hold it and you program it. And you program with your breath. So you can hold a crystal and just, and what programming is, is you have in your mind, in your heart, your intention. Like if you want those crystals to support your wellness, your well being. Do you want those crystals to bring prosperity? You just, you give them a task, a job, and then you, you then those are your sacred crystals. Now, as far as some crystals have, can vibrate higher than others. Anything with quartz in it is a higher vibration. Uh, some are, are more grounding crystals. And that is what you're doing. And it's very important that you're doing that is you, once you clean the crystal and you program it, you feel it with your heart and you will know what that crystal is for. It's, okay. because it's going to make you feel better in that area of your life. Okay. And the most important thing is you're the magic. It's the intention that you've put into that crystal, that intention and that belief and that understanding. The crystal has a vibration. And when it's at more of a vibrational match to your intention, then it's it's married to that intention and it supports you with that. Uh, but any rock and crystal, the first rock I ever found, I was a little girl about five years old and it was a petri piece of petrified wood that was out mm. in the field behind me. And I know some other child must have lost it there because we do not have petrified wood around my house. Mm -hmm. Well, I took it home and 
I could have, I don't have, I have it by my bed. I mean, many, many years later, you know, I have that still stone. And I looked up about petrified wood um, later in life when I got into stones. And petrified wood helps you with your past lives. So I, I always have dreams and I've always been very uh, psychic and intuitive. And I found that rock when I was five years old. And that rock's been with me since I was five years old. And it's very pretty, it's petrified wood, you know. However, I didn't know anything about it, but it's never left me. It's always been by my bed uh, for many years. So I'm just showing that as an example, just trust your heart. I have program, um, I have program a few stones. Um, I have my Jeep and I call her GB and she has two quartz crystals in inside. Yeah. <laughs> and I program them for protection. And I promise you, I promise you, sometimes, you know, cause in Atlanta, some people just do some crazy stuff when they're driving. And every time I swear, it's my crystals that save me. Like it's my crystals mm -hmm. and my Jeep. Cause I program my Jeep too, by the way. <laughs> uh -huh. So I've actually programmed the Jeep, but I have two quartz crystals in my Jeep that are programmed for protection. And I swear they work because there's just been enough encounters where I can tell something divine has stepped in um, to stop an accident. So um, I agree. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. But I do, you, when you talk about the programming of crystals, I always have crystals with me, but if I'm taking a long journey, I put angels on all corners of, of my car, each tire, you know, I got four angels and then we just, we kind of fly with time and we always arrive at the perfect time and uh, no stress. And so I think the divine, whatever you call higher self, uh, source, divine, it's all good stuff. And it all protects us and keeps us safe because that's our intention. Anyone else have any thoughts or questions for Karen? Mm -hmm. Honora? So when you were showing us around um, with the different stones. Speak you, up. There was, can you hear me? Yeah. There was one that you um, said helps with cancer, um, but you cut out and I wasn't able to hear what the name of it was. It's called cavasonite, or cav if I pronounce it, C-A-V, capsonite. And it's a blue, uh, a little blue, uh, it's a mineral actually, but it grows on the matrix. And I had a customer that was a um, holistic cancer doctor and she was out in Cave Creek and she'd have retreats for people. And she would come and buy those to give them as gifts to the people that were going through her treatments. And uh, she just, felt so good about them. I, I researched them more and it says it, it basically slows that process or it puts things in remission. So illnesses, it puts into remission. And that's why she loved it. And then she asked me if you ever can get a cavasite because they grow more like in a sphere, a circle. And mm -hmm. she wanted one the size of a big golf ball. And I said, she says, if you ever get a big one, I want it. Well, I went to my different sources that I get my cavasonite from, and uh, I said, told him, and he laughed, and he said, well, he said, back in the 40s, there was one that was about that size that was found, and back in 1940, its value was over $200,000 because oh they don't, they don't grow that big. And she said, if you found one today, it would be a lot more. And so I went back to her and I said, um, I cannot get that for you. <laughs> so I did get some, I do have cavasonite in matrix. So they're tumbled and it's, it's a uh, other crystal rock, but the, the cavasonite itself is uh, more of uh, like a, 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 a small, bigger than a pea, but you know, a small grape or something. Um, and, and it's anyway, it's about the energy. And a lot of the stones that just reminds me, lithium quartz is also the most powerful healing crystal. It's one that I think everyone should have. And even when you uh, break off a small piece of a lithium quartz, it has just as much power and energy in it as the mother piece. And it's a wonderful stone for relationships, meaning you 
you uh, have a special person in your life, you have them have a, a stone with them and you have the lithium quartz in your purse too is because it keeps that connection and it's also very healing for the bodies. So of the two stones, the cabosinite and the lithium quartz, I always recommend as really wonderful healing crystals, especially for people that have some serious stuff going on at that time. Thank you. And thank you, Ms. Kim, for um, writing the names in the chat. So as we just kind of recap, recap, I guess, it's sometimes hard for us to wrap our head around because we feel very physical. Our, you know, the table, everything feels very physical. But just imagine this whole world is vibration and your vibration. And how does your vibration show up? How, what are you attracting in your life? Because we attract like. So when we're depressed and sad, we'll attract a lot of depressed and sad people around us. When we're happy and joyous, we attract that light and that happiness. So if you think about that you're a vibration and you're creating who you are every moment of the day and how you create yourself is your choice. In other words, if you're, you're kind of eddy out, you, you're flying on top, you're in spirit and you go to the side, it's okay to be there a little bit you know, but get right back on top because that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to be in joy. He wants us to be happy. And to be like Christ, you need to be in that spirit. That's part of, uh, part of the uh, journey in life is to learn how to calm, I call it your monkey brain and go to the heart. And always, uh, when you're making a decision, Tap your heart, go to the heart before you make the decision. Don't ever jump at anything because when we jump at something, usually later we regret it. So, uh, and then also taking things in prayer, meaning to me, going into the silence and setting and being with Jesus, being with God, that is where you're going to get your direct answers. And the more we practice meditation, the more we practice quieting the mind and setting with spirit, the more synchronicities happen in our life, the more joy and the more peace. And we find that perfect crystal that puts that smile on our face. I can talk to forever, so you guys have to tell me not to. Okay, so I'm going to um, say thank you so much, Karen, Diane. And um, I sent out her email uh, newsletter to everyone in an email last week. If you can refer back to it, um, if you want to contact her, her information is in that email newsletter. Um, also, um, yeah, thank you so much for coming on. And there's other things that we're um, talking about doing in the future. So keep up with us. So I also want to say, um, that Shelly is on, um, Shelly Odell Brock, and she has made some inquiries in the message boxes. I want her to come on and um, say what she has to say about Karen, if she can, with, uh, she was uh, concerned about the background ground noise, but also that Shelly will be on next week um, talking about the benefits of ancient acu acupuncture and so on. I hope I said it right. So there you have it. <laughs> you did fine. So, um, Karen, I have known Karen for a long, long time, and you're right. Her energy is very good. Um, I feel bad for you guys that don't live in this state because just to go to her um, place is just amazing. And she has the most beautiful backyard that she does her gong meditations in with, um, she has a green thumb, beautiful flowers, nice, nice, um, calm atmosphere. But Karen, um, decorated my acupuncture office, uh, my new one with um, crystals and just little knickknacks. And she did a perfect job. I love everything. And um, it just made such a difference. I had purchased the practice from another lady and um, I just didn't feel at home. And so I had Karen come in and just kind of do her thing. And it was just like a light switch. It was so wonderful. But um, 
you know, and I've also, um, my daughter lives in Florida and she has actually done a shopping online shopping spree with her friends. We just put Karen on like we have now. And, um, she showed all of her, her beautiful things and, and they made their purchases. So she's very versatile <laughs> in helping you get the right stuff. And she's very, very intuitive in helping you get the right stuff too. So I just, I'm so happy that I know her because she's been a blessing in my life as have you, Kim. <laughs> Thank you. I met these uh, ladies by chance and it was because of after COVID, um, I kept having these ridiculous symptoms. And so um, I just willy nilly looked up acupuncture because it came to my mind. I know it was spirit and I met Shelly and um, I really feel connected to her. Um, I, I looked at her lobby, tears coming to my eyes. Um, because I feel like they have been a great accentuation to change this happening in my life. I'm crossing over to the next level. So I definitely wanted to share this, but um, when I walked into Shelly's um, lobby, I felt what we all wanna feel. And she was so kind as we spoke which is not what we get all the time. She was so kind and she began to tell me about Karen, but I think Karen came in that day or the next time that I was in the appointment. And these ladies, um, they are, I, I can't even say just kind, sweet. They're everything that you're working towards being but it tells you that you are that, right? And I, I, I don't know, all I can say is, is that, yeah, Shelly's right. Living in um, Arizona, I hadn't pictured myself being here, but they make me think twice about leaving here because if I could meet 20 more of them, I would feel solid. And that's not to say that I don't feel solid with you all, but it gives me the opportunity of sharing people that really have a heart filled with love, with no boundaries, sharing them with you. So Karen, I met through Shelly and I don't feel like they're strangers to me. Um, I don't feel like there's any threat whereas when we go out into the world. So I am definitely grateful um, for meeting both of these women. And um, so I'm sharing them with you. I'm sharing you all with them. Really understand what's happening here because this is evolution. Well, thank you, Kim. That's, those are such sweet words. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim, for having me on. And like when I do my meditations, I love a phrase I love to say, as you go deep within experience, there are no edges. There are no edges. You are not defined by your edges. You're defined by oneness. And we can be that oneness. We just have to allow, trust, and just know that there are no edges. Um, her gong meditation information and, well, the gong meditation, she sells the um, DVDs. You can put it right into your computer, sleep with it on. Um, um, the gong, uh, she didn't want to do it on here because it's not showing up clearly, right? But the meditation, you can purchase it. Karen, how much is that? Again, uh, I the, have it. Yeah, the meditation CD is 77 minutes. 77.16 is three meditations on the CD. And with the little books, I'm doing a special holiday price at $25. So you get both books. Uh, one book is uh, basically is the guide and tells you everything about and all the monologues that are in here. But this is a very special book because I, I call it it's your journal. It, you do it for 21 days and uh, it really changes your life. The instructions are very clear to what you do. Uh, so these two little books together and the CD. And you don't have to listen to all the CD, but if you fall asleep with it, that's wonderful to fall asleep with it and wake up. All right. 
So, and if you're interested, yeah, if you're interested in purchasing anything from me, just email me or text me. And what I can do is I use Square. Again, I'm working on my website. So I can email you an invoice and you can pay that way in security, uh, you know, with a card. Um, and then I ship everything to you. So whether you want a special crystal bag, a special bracelet, and I can take pictures of things and, and email you the pictures or send them to you so you can see. But I think Shelly can say too, because her daughter was buying things and, and she, I was showing her. And then the last time she says, oh, just let Karen pick it. It's, it's perfect. So uh, you won't be uh, disappointed because I, that's one thing I strive is not to disappoint you. Thank you. I'm putting her number in the, the box so you can take it if you want to order. Um, Twyla is asking you to repeat what's in that, um, in your um, gong meditation again, right? The books and the CD. The CD? Oh, I'm sorry. She says, okay. can you repeat all you are selling one more time aside from the books and CD? So. Oh, uh, I have a large selections of beads, so you can make your own jewelry. So I'm selling strands of beads. I'm selling already finished jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, everything from turquoise to Botswana agate to amethyst to, uh, again, uh, garnets, you name it, I probably have it. Uh, so I can create a specialty bracelet for you or a necklace or something like that. I also have a large selection of, of beautiful rings uh, semi-precious stones. Most of my stuff is silver. I do have some gold. And then I have a large selection of the crystals, whether it be crystal spears, whether it be amethyst, uh, citrine, uh, the, the what I call the generic ones. And But then I have some very rare stones. So I have over a variety. I haven't counted lately, but I keep saying about 850 varieties of rocks and minerals. And that's why I can make a custom kit for every person, depending on what energies that, that are needed at that time in their life. Um, so, um, and I, I have the Koshi times, which are uh, my little musical instruments. I don't sell gongs anymore or the crystal bowls. I just have them for my own use. Um, I have a friend that's uh, a customer friend that made me this little plaque and it says Gypsy Trader. I call my business Gypsy Trader one stop shopping. And the reason why is if you can dream it, I can do it. Meaning if you have a need, let me know and I might have some suggestions for you. Yeah. Okay. What is that musical instrument, like or the um the circular? Speak up. I don't know if you can hear it. It's called a koshi chime. It's actually uh, a musical instrument. And when I do my gong meditations, I have also what we call a ocean drum that sounds like rain. And so when I just even on the CD, you're going to hear a lot of different sounds, not just the gong with the meditation. And the Koshi chimes, I have four different sounds and they're the four directions are called the four angels like Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael. And uh, these are uh, musical instruments so they're not really to be hanging outside. Uh, they're handmade and they're actually made in France. And they're uh, a beautiful tool for you just to sit and meditate with but I love to play them when I do my gong. And if we can figure a way that I could do gong Zoom where people could really hear and feel the vibration, I'd be doing it. Um, but um, it, they say the best thing to do is actually record like a YouTube video and then put it out so people can hear it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so everybody good? Any more questions before we say adieu? No? Okay, so if you have questions um, and you wanna make an order, I'm sorry. 
I think Twyla asked um, how much the custom bracelets were. Uh, it depends on what's in them, but the custom brace is usually around $70. So uh, some of them can be from, uh, let's say from 50 to 110, depending. Because I have uh, like Rhoda Coast side, I have some really high quality stones uh, that are a little more pricey. If, but then if we're doing the, um, it just depends on what we put in it. So I'm going to say my average bracelet ends up being about $70 for people. And it's sterling silver. I always use the finest of beads and sterling silver class or toggle. So they're very good quality. And I um, took the advantage of the stones that she has um, when I look at Shelly's lobby to finish that up and um, um, realized that I could use someone on a personal level to help me with my stones when um, I do my work. Um, I, I found it to be um, more, um, it is personal, but a trusting energy. And um, I can say that, of course, if you feel it through um, her energy, through the um, Zoom call, when we um, came together and I actually went to her studio, I was um, very thankful that I met them again so that I could have someone to personally prepare um, them for me. Yeah, so, and it's worth it, so. Um, any questions, we'll say thank you again and um, that you can contact her uh, if you want to order anything, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you again, Karen. And thank you, everybody, for coming on. It adds to your healing uh, journey and your journey as a healer. You have other ideas that you can use. Um, she's. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Thank you. Okay. I'll send the video for, to everyone and then you still have the information. You can reach out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll be reaching out directly. Okay. I need some stones. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Good night. Thank you, Shelby.